Good morning. Just a quick one today, as the sky is actually blue and I've got signal. Maybe there's a correlation there. Speaking of correlation, quite often we, and I wanted to share this, this is what Hazel posted yesterday, uh, or the day before. Hazel's been on our 28 day kickstart and initially, I guess the focus in what a lot of us say is about weight loss and that's fine. We, we often go for some weight loss, but if you just read some of the stuff I've written above about clothes fitting better yet only losing two kilos. So clothes fitting better yet only losing two kilos, which is amazing. Morning, Sarah. Um, sleeping better, eating better, less cravings. Thinking about stuff like holidays and hair, like feeling just more confident in general. And, and what that actually means when you achieve that. And I'm, I'm bringing this up because this is kind of our real why that often we, we don't think about when we set goals. And when we set goals just based on weight, it's very easy to feel deflated, very easy to not get the results that you want. So I just wanna really, really reiterate this point. If you're struggling for motivation to go back to the goal, and it's fine to set a weight loss goal, but think about, morning Lucy, if you think about just relying on weight, that is 100% not in your complete control, okay? So you can, you can, you can of course, influence it with what you eat, with how much you exercise, etc. And these are then process-based goals. So why not focus on the process and let everything We are back. Morning, Sue. So, just a quick point on that. Focus on what you can 100% control. Number one, it might be today that you set a rule that you just say, or you set a goal that you're only gonna eat when you're sat down, or you're gonna have protein at each meal. There are things you can control, which add up to the things that Hazel said, like less cravings, that then add up to maybe inch loss. Because if you're fitting your clothes better and you've only lost two kilos only, that's, to be honest, that, it's a weird one, isn't it? What is slow weight loss? Because fast weight loss usually means, usually, not always, because it does depend when someone comes to me and they've got type two diabetes or cardiovascular disease risk and they're like in a zone where they're like, I am gonna change everything. Yes, gonna change everything. Then they can lose a lot more and that's fine. But just know that that's not the norm and not the norm as in, I wanna reiterate this point. If you lose like 10 pounds in a week, then that doesn't mean that you should lose 10 pounds every week. Really important thing to remember, then don't compare yourself to week one all the time. Compare yourself to where you were before when you, when you first started. And know that if you kept losing 10 pounds every week, you'd disappear like the genie into a lamp. Been watching too much Aladdin. Anyway, so focus on the process goals and the rest will take care of itself. How many times can you exercise this week? Then don't just say that, say I will exercise, insert, at, on this day, at this time, write that down. Then a food habit. So let's say, um, um, let's say it's nighttime eating. Okay, so we're gonna look at nighttime eating. It has to be personal, but one we went over last week with one of the ladies was, she's only gonna eat one thing after her dinner. Okay, so she's gonna have one thing after her dinner and she's satisfied with that. The issue is actually, the issue is normally that when she eats one thing, she means I might as well eat 10. Remember, that's like going into the shops, spending a hundred pound and saying I might as well spend a thousand pound. You wouldn't do that, right? Morning, Joe. Morning, Melissa. Morning, Stella. Yep, agree. Exercise is definitely 100% in my control and I love it. Yeah, love it, Stella. And your results speak for themselves. Morning, Michelle. Morning, Sue. You're off here next week. Look at the weather. I am. This is like a very rare occasion here. There's blue sky. It's been, it's been that colour. But it does pass quick. Anyway, so let's say you sit there. Then it's something for you. So as Hazel said above, taking time for herself. And this is, everyone knows this. Everyone knows I, oh, yeah, and, and me included on this. I, since I meditate and I nap, meditate or nap daily, no matter what, no matter whether I'm on holiday or, or not, or whether I'm at home, that's just a, a note that changes my energy completely. Now, you could say that you might feel guilty for napping, often people say that, feel guilty for meditation, but what's the alternative? The alternative, as I spoke with someone last week, was they just snack in the middle afternoon because they're tired, look for a pick-me-up. Or, I can't nap, I don't have time, I'm working. Okay, 10 deep breaths in, 10 deep breaths out. Right, we're back. I'll finish on this. If you're gonna feel guilty about napping or doing something for you, 